And I wanted to talk to you about a subject that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is website bookmarks. Right now you can see I'm at Symbaloo EDU, and these are all website bookmarks. Yick and Nelson told me about Symbaloo a long time ago, and it has really saved me a lot of time having to type and search. And you can see I have one about things for teachers. Then I have a whole page just for tools. It'll load here in a second. And then it goes on and I have all these pages. It even goes all the way over here. But after a while, I found that it was hard for me to quickly find what I needed. And I started to play around with something else. And a student actually told me about it. And I'll share that with you in just a second. So most of us, I think, are used to just having these bookmarks up here in um, just our bookmark page and so if you go all the way over here or the bookmarks bar i'm sorry if you go all the way here and you see this little arrow mine actually went all the way down to the bottom of the page and so um i started to make folders for them and that's what i wanted to share with you but just for um some initial work on bookmarks before you get into folders i thought i might just type something let's say that you have a really nice chocolate chip cookie recipe i was trying to just go with something pretty easy here let's say that you really like all recipes and you want to keep this site so normally we just go over here to the star i'm in chrome by the way and if you go to the star, then there's that really long title. And if you take, if you do take the second to click in there and then just delete a lot of this text, that'll give you room for more bookmarks. So I'll just keep it maybe about that big. And right now the default is bookmarks bar, but if you make folders, then you can actually just throw those in a folder. And that's what I was going to talk about next. So I'll just go ahead and ignore this and I'll show you what it looks like if you want to have some folders. So on this, this is my school account and you can see that basically everything is in folders except for YouTube because that's just easier. And then I don't actually have that arrow going down. So one of the folders that I go to a lot is the tech folder. And you can see there's quite a lot in this folder for bookmarks, but it's just easier for me to find than having to decide where are they and um, then going to that arrow off to the side. So then just general education resources. These are things that either I do use or I want to check out and I heard about and I just don't want to forget. So if you're interested, in making folders you could go to your vertical ellipses the three dots over on the top right and you go down to bookmarks and then we'll go to bookmarks manager and we'll be able to make ourselves a new folder so these are the folders i've made and to add another one i can go to add new folder and i'll call this new folder vacation ideas <laughs> that that'll be nice i'll hit save and now anytime i'm at a site so let's say that i want to check out a vacation idea for the bahamas this might just be wishful thinking here that's okay so if i want this website to be something that i can go back to time and time again then when i go to bookmark it i've just got to pay attention now so again, I can shorten that title if I want, but I can click on this. And if Vacation Ideas doesn't show up, then you can go down to choose another folder. So I'll just show you then, it'll bring up all of your folders. So I'll go ahead and click on Vacation Ideas and I'll hit save. Now, if you have, let's go back to bookmarks and to bookmark manager. Let's say that you have a full page of websites. You can move them into a folder. Take YouTube and I can throw it into education resources and now it'll be there. And so if I click on education resources, then generally things seem to default to the bottom. So you can move this up. And I didn't realize this a while back, but you can even move things 
um, that were over here off to the side. I didn't know this till recently. And you can move them up here to the top. So if I want YouTube, let's say at this point, it's going to come out of that folder. But let's say I want that right there, then it'll go back over there. If I want to move these folders around, then I can do that just as I could with websites. So let me show you that again right here. So if for any reason you recently bookmarked a site, let's say it was Twitter, but you want it to be above all of these, then now it's right there. So if you want to play around and make yourself save a few seconds searching for something, then you might have yourself a little bit of bookmark bliss.